Well, tonight in health, a major breakthrough. For the first time, Huntington's disease has been successfully treated. That's according to researchers in London. Doctors say new gene therapy is showing great promise in fighting the devastating disease. Health reporter Stephanie Stahl says similar studies are taking place in the U.S. Jack May Davis knows without treatment, he is guaranteed to develop the same condition that killed his father, Huntington's disease. Caused by a faulty gene, it destroys brain cells and affects the whole body. Jack's father, Fred, first developed symptoms in his late 30s. He died at the age of 54. Horrible to see and horrible to know as well that that could be or, you know, it would be me at some point. If you look here. But now there is hope. A trial of a gene therapy slowed the progression of Huntington's disease by 75% over three years. Scientists at University College London described the results as spectacular. What the data means is they will be able to maintain their function longer. It will give them more years of living good quality of life. Here you can see the gene therapy being injected deep into the brain of one of the 29 patients in the trial. The drug called AMT-130 enters cells in the brain, releasing its genetic material. This lowers levels of a toxic protein and slows progression of the disease. Here is a picture of your brain, which looks fantastic. Jack, who is 30, is part of a Huntington's research group in London. It does make the future seem a little bit brighter. Definitely going to help with knowing that there, I have got more time here than, than perhaps I first thought. The team hoped that patients like Jack can eventually be given the therapy to prevent them from ever getting sick. Stephanie Stahl, CBS News, Philadelphia.